First of all, if you had a chance to vote, would it have been Dan or Memphis? Uh, Dan. Totally Dan. I think Dan played the best game ever. He he was very strategic. He looked two or three steps ahead in every single thing he did. Everything he did was you know methodically thought out. And I think he totally deserves props for that. Were you surprised it was 7-0? I was, actually. Uh, I kind of thought it was going to be sort of a mix-up. I thought it might go half and half. Because I really didn't think that, like, Ollie and April, and I, I really thought they were still so angry with him that they were going to that they were gonna vote for Memphis. And then when she, every key she pulled out was Dan Dan, I was shocked. Even Jerry said, I want to give it to the person who showed me love at the end, who I thought was Memphis. <laughs> well, I know, right? Like, I, I didn't really get that. And uh, I knew that uh, with Memphis making Keisha so mad, that that was definitely going to sway some of the votes that might have gone to, you know, to Memphis. But, and in the end, I guess, I don't know what, I don't know what the conversations were like in that house, in the jury house, but apparently whatever happened, they all, they all went for Dan. Alcohol. <laughs> yeah, probably. Now, we too. Would you, do, do, would you have done anything different besides the obvious question about the Alliance? Yeah, you know, I went in the, I went in the house sort of more to, to, to play a game and have fun with it instead of like going in with a game face on to win it. You know, I wanted to like make friends and have fun and, and play, you know, sort of play around with everybody. And after the first couple of days we were having so much fun, I sort of got caught up in the let's have fun with it. And then like looking back, I wasn't trying to win. I was trying to make friends and have fun. So I just would have, I totally would have done that different. I would have gone on to win the money with a game face on, not cared about anybody on a personal level, only cared about, you know, how can this person help me. But is that who you are, though? Because it seems like you look like a nice guy. Uh, un unfortunately, uh, yeah, I mean, I am kind of a nice guy. I think I am, and a lot of, all of my friends are with that, too. When I got out of the house, my sister and my friends, they were like, you would have never made it in that house. They were like, you just don't have the constitution or the, the personality to, to, to be that mean and manipulative. I don't see you being screaming and yelling at people all the time. Oh, I can definitely scream and yell. I definitely, when, 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 you, when you get to me, I can definitely be that kind of person. But my problem is, is that uh, I always try and go around that. I try and do everything I can to avoid conflict first. And then once you push me into a corner, you're going to hear me yell and scream. And I think I would have definitely had some people who would have like not liked me when I came out of the house if I had stayed longer and you'd have seen that side of me. Because what I love is here's a guy who can do a bucket bronco or a stay on a, you know, bucket bull bucket, riding. bull riding for eight, you know, eight seconds. And all, but like in the house, it was like... Oh my God, he's going to be playing. You're too smart to be. Uh, you and Libra, to me, were like people who should have been in the end. That's uh -huh. my thinking. What, what about your own? Did you kind of, in hindsight, think, maybe I should have done this, but maybe I shouldn't have lied myself with this person and been more friendly? Or, well, I mean, so I mean you, I, I did that when, yeah, when I first got out, I did that constantly. Well, what if I'd have done this? What if I'd done that? If I'd have said this? And, but you can't really do that. Like, I went in and I did what I did. Um, there's a million different scenarios. If this would have happened different, if this would have happened, I mean, there's so many different things that could have happened a million different ways. Um, a lot of it really is luck. There's definitely gameplay involved, but a lot of it is luck of winning challenges. You know, it's just, it's anybody's game. In my opinion. Easier, riding a bull or playing Big Brother? Oh, uh, riding a bull, absolutely. I ride a bull again any day. I have to think real hard before I'd go back in that house. What's more painful? Uh, well, I've had some pretty bad accidents on bulls before, so I'd have to say the pain part is probably the bull riding. <laughs> you haven't broken any bones, Big Brother. Did not break any bones, though. What would you do if you said they couldn't get me back in the house? People say that, but you know, here's the chance for half a million dollars. Do you really think you would not do it again? You know, if they came back and wanted to do All Stars or something, I would really seriously consider it. I, I would like a different. I would like another sh chance at it and go in with a different attitude. Um, it is kind of very crazy. It totally throws your life upside down. So I'd have to think about it. But I'd probably do it. Probably. Terrific. Yeah. I thought you were great. I just thought you didn't get enough chance to be yourself. To be myself. Yeah. The whole. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you stop? Oh, okay. Can I just get look at the, just bought something? You ready? The puppet show, I mean, were you, were you um, April in the puppet show? Cause I was April and Ollie. So the, I was the hands like this doing April and Ollie. The April was brilliant with the, the boobs. I want to show my boobies. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, we had so we were having so much fun that night. I think that was probably the most memorable night of the whole house. It had to be. We just laughed. We were laughing like we were like five-year-old little schoolgirls, just cracking up. Our bellies were hurting. Um, it was really a lot of fun. I think the line, I have to show my boobies in the diary room. I mean, that was brilliant. I mean, where you could... <laughs> I mean, it's kind of evil, but brilliant. Well, the funny thing is, it's, it's, all the time, the cameras never left April. Anywhere you'd go, if we'd been hanging out in the backyard, April would come out the door, every camera in the backyard, right to her. Because she's got those giant boobs, and they're always hanging out. But she definitely knew how to work those boobs. That was your mistake. You didn't work yours. I know. I should have. I'll go back and try that one. <laughs> thank you. All right. Nice thank meeting you. you. Thank you.